welcome back or welcome to my channel welcome to this travel with me vlog i am so excited i literally finished filming my pack with me 30 minutes ago so if you want to see the crazy adventure that led us to getting to this point that's a full video within itself but today is wednesday december 20th i'm literally leaving in 30 minutes to go to the airport to go to japan and taiwan i'm going to taiwan to see my family and since japan is relatively close by i have a quite long layover there and just gonna explore for a little bit but right now it is currently 12 20. have a little bit to get ready for before i leave for the airport but here's an overview for my whole trip my flight is today at 3 45 so i'm gonna go to the airport in like 20 minutes and then it's a 16 hour flight from here la to tokyo japan and then i'm spending the night in tokyo i have some time there just to explore a little bit and then from there i'm heading on like a very short flight from Tokyo to Taipei, Taiwan, where then I'll reunite with, with my mom and brother who are already there and my entire mom's side of my family. I haven't been to Taiwan in four years. I used to go every single year before COVID. I'm so, so excited and grateful to be going back. I'm also literally, as we speak, supposed to be writing two essays in AP literature for my final right now, but finish all my finals early so this trip could happen and I am beyond excited very soon. My dad and I will be on our way to the airport. Okay guys, it is now 12.43. We are surprisingly on time. We're literally calling the Uber as we speak but I have all my stuff ready to go over here. And now we're just gonna go to LAX. It's like a 40 minute drive-ish. And then afterwards check in. And then we should have a lot of time left over. So my phone is also not fully charged, which is annoying, but it's okay. I'll do it with it. The final I took on Monday that I studied so long for, I just got my score back. I got a 44 out of 50. Do you know what I needed to get an A? 45. <sighs> Anyways, besides that, we're currently at our gate. We have like an hour and 45 minutes before we actually have to get on the plane. pretty good movies but I don't know if I'm gonna watch them because I may just sleep and then do one of them. Okay, this is like some beef hamburger rice. This is a noodle. I've never had noodles or I have, but like, and then we got some salad, more salad, some bread, butter, some sort of like salad pasta thing. Also, I've been sleeping like the whole time, literally like this. That's what it feels like, haven't been so happy ever. currently in the Japan airport. We're here in Tokyo, but it is currently 8.48 local time. We are just gonna take the subway to our hotel. It's really close by, probably get something to eat. Uh, yeah, I really think I'm gonna marry this girl. Uh, seems like it's for real this time. Hello, I look so terrible. Oh my goodness. It is currently 9 p.m. 10. 10.49. 10 wow. 
in Tokyo. We just got to our hotel. We're only staying here for one night. Basically, right now, I think we're gonna go have dinner in a little bit because there's like a bunch of restaurants nearby. So we're literally only here for like 12 hours. We're gonna have dinner and then come back, rest, and then tomorrow morning, we're gonna get on our flight from Japan to Taiwan, which it's actually, first of all, I'm so delusional because right now it's like 5 a.m. So I basically just pulled an all-nighter and literally going insane. It's also so funny being here because I literally took Japanese in school for three years and I don't know a single thing. Like I could not tell you how I passed that class, but I passed the class. I've like heard so many of the phrases and everything. I just don't know what anything means. Anyways, I'm so tired and hungry, but there's like a restaurant right across the street. So I think we're gonna go to that. back in my hotel. I'm so tired, it's currently 12.30 and I have to wake up tomorrow at six to get on my flight to from Japan to Taiwan. So I'm gonna go to bed now, but I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, it is currently 6.30 and woke up at like four because of jet lag and could not fall back asleep. So here we are. Anyways, hello. I'm still so delusional tired. I'm running on three hours of sleep currently. It is 6.30 and we're currently about to check out of our hotel. I can get this water bottle open. Can you open this please? And then once we check out, we're gonna go eat breakfast really quick. And then after breakfast, we're just gonna go straight back to the airport. The flight to go to Taiwan is at nine. So we have a little bit of time. Okay. It's almost to the finish line. I just six more hours and then I'm in Taiwan and I can finally like completely rest. We're gonna check out now and then go eat breakfast and then go directly to the airport. Yesterday we went to 7-Eleven and got a bunch of small snacks and this is what we're currently trying. Should I just bite into it? Yeah, just bite. Or just taste like red bean. Interesting. Solid one. Let's go. Wonder what you are doing in a city park riding, or better yet, you know I bet you're at home cooking. I wonder what you are wearing. A cable knit sweater. You okay, guys, we are currently at our terminal, and I just made a very exciting purchase. I'm four hours away from being in Taipei, but I just got. The Shiseido eyelash curler. I've been looking for this item for so long, but in the US it's like $25. This was $9. Such a steal. So of course I had to get it. Now I'm actually gonna try it out and like see what the difference is. Oh my goodness. The difference is insane. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. My lashes have never looked this good. I'm so happy. I'm about to board. Being romantic or just unrealistic. If I believe in destiny and everyday magic, is there a someone for no one or just no one for someone? Where do we fall? Is it our call? Can fate be 